What is RSV? RSV, the respiratory syncytial virus, is also known as the human respiratory syncytial virus, or HRSV, and the human orthopneumovirus. RSV is a common virus that affects the respiratory system that causes mild cold-like symptoms. The recovery period is usually from one to two weeks, but for some, such as infants and children, it can lead to serious symptoms. RSV affects breathing passages in infants and young children, but also in adults. According to the CDC, most children will have had RSV by age two and can have repeat infections. RSV is the most common cause of a condition called bronchiolitis. RSV is also the leading cause of pneumonia in children younger than one year of age. Symptoms of RSV. RSV symptoms usually begin four to six days after exposure and infection and do not begin simultaneously, but in stages. Infants may only present with irritability, decreased activity, or difficulty breathing. General symptoms of RSV infection can include fever, coughing, wheezing, sneezing, runny nose, and decreased appetite. How is RSV spread? RSV is spread through droplets when people cough or sneeze, then enter through the mucous membranes in our mouths, nose, and eyes. RSV is also spread directly by kissing the face of a child infected with the virus, also touching surfaces that have the virus on it. RSV can live and survive for hours on surfaces such as toys, tables, cribs, and doorknobs. It can also live on soft hands and tissues, but for a shorter amount of time. That is why it is so important to wash your hands. RSV Risks those infected with RSV may not show signs and symptoms for one to two days, in which during that time they can spread the virus and then they are contagious for approximately three to eight days. Those with a weakened immune systems, although they may no longer have symptoms, may continue to spread the virus for up to four weeks. In infants, children, and adults who are healthy, RSV infections can cause less issues than those who are compromised. Severe RSV Risks People with the highest risk of contracting RSV can include infants born with heart or lung conditions or are immunocompromised, including adults, those with exposure to other infants and children in daycares, infants born premature, less than 36 weeks gestation, infants less than 12 weeks during RSV season, children with neuromuscular disorders as they may not be able to clear respiratory secretions, and those exposed to cigarette smoke. Babies are 16 times more likely to be hospitalized with RSV than with the flu. The peak season for RSV is winter, but begins in the fall. Treatment and prevention. RSV usually resolves within one to two weeks. Treatment is mainly supportive, encouragement of fluids and anti-fever medication. Prevention. RSV can help be prevented by washing hands, limiting exposure to those infected if known, also through use of a medication called palivizumab, which is given in a series of injections. When to see a doctor. Seek immediate medical attention for those at risk, as mentioned, of severe RSV infection. Those having difficulty breathing, a high fever, flaring nostrils, and cyanosis, which is a blue color of the lips, skin, and nail beds. Disclaimer. Thank you for watching. I am Nurse Master Charlie.